Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verified business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented instructor-led face-to-face through live online software training program. It also includes access to cloud test lab with software training. We provide live projects for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Yes, yes, yes. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I recently graduated. I mean, I, I did master's in computer science. Uh, I went to research med school, so that's where I'm, I'm joining this group. Okay. Great, thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, shall we go ahead and repeat? I hope I have uh, filled it properly. This is Krishna. Actually, uh, more than 15 years uh, IT experience. Uh, currently, I'm working as a project manager, but uh, my background is a mainframe. So now I have need to manage some Java projects. So I just want to learn the ba- basics of the Java and understand how it works. So then it will be easy for me to manage the project. That's why I'm working here. Thank you, Raj. Uh, Ar- Arjun, how about you? Yeah, sure. Good evening. Uh, so my name is Sajid. Uh, I have a background in uh, biomedical. You know, that's just the first time I'm taking the you know pure and the business. You know, with you know the expenses. So just I wanna get some more, you know, more about the IT and the web guys. You know, they tell me that uh, this is for the Java. Mm-hmm. So that's I will get some more knowledge about it. You know. So. All right. That's great. I hope you will be having. Thanks, Arjun. Uh, Shalin, uh, Shalin uh, Lawrence, uh, would you please introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm, I'm a mainframe participant. I use uh, mute your, I mean, mute yourself and show then we'll be we'll be completed back. Thank you. Uh, hello. Yeah, hello. Uh, hi, I'm Shalin. Uh, I did my B.Tech uh, in IT, and uh, I'm here so that I can uh, learn some advanced Java. that uh, uh, since I did my BTEC in IT, I know some core Java concepts uh, that uh, the guys uh, are asking for advanced Java knowledge. So I'm here. Great. Great. Yeah, thank you. Thanks Thanks for the, thanks for participating. Uh, how about Hello. Uh, Sojal Singh? Hi, Jay. This is Sojal Singh. My background is in computer science. I'm taking this class to get some more knowledge. Thank you. Good for the introduction and thanks for coming. That's great. Uh, Vasu, how about you? Uh, hi. Uh, actually, uh, I'm a, I'm a medical student and uh, I'm just getting into Java. So that's the reason I have my uh, web guys and my computer science background. Great. Uh, thanks for all three of you. I think I, I think I have uh, I've covered everything. I think anything is left out. Uh, I think you all covered the main and the introduction otherwise let's let's go ahead and move on right uh, hello okay so the very first thing i just want to say uh, a very good experience for all you guys because from uh, speaking from first year background uh, you're getting to learn a lot about uh, correct computer graphics the way it designs things one of the good language to learn, right? But basically, what is Java? Right. There are a lot of things you can do it in Java, and uh, we'll try to see how studying from core Java to the advanced Java and make it more advanced. And what are the things we have to learn? Okay. So the very first and foremost thing, what is Java? So Java is again, it's a progr- programming language and uh, and computing platform. Uh, it's first been released by U.S. and Microsoft some time in India. So there are a lot of applications and websites that uh, won't work unless and until we have Java installed. It's a really simple example. I mean, if you need to have a browser, uh, my favorite is a browser. What you need is a Java client. So by default, you know, it's it's pretty simple. You can set up uh, Java as an instance. Uh, and each and every creative could be free to have Java as uh, you know, as a free, right? Each and every uh, 
good solid patterns and the same kind of the lines which you see here in the pictures it is very simple it is uh, fully oxygenated and waterproof uh java is fast secure and more reliable okay so it is very fast for learning also it is it is very secure because uh java is got a lot of security features uh, and so the key thing very few versions of it uh, the jdk okay it's jdk 7 because we are java developing team okay and uh, moreover ja java is very cloud based and you can get the latest versions from java.com or from oracle.com also and uh, as you know the java is being maintained by uh, is is bought by oracle and oracle is uh, is is the core owner of java now okay so java is everywhere java has very vibrant open source community so what it does uh, what it means is so let's say you have any problems in your uh, applications or maybe uh, you have any problems in any any approach so you can very well google it and uh, you can find a lot of answers for it in open source systems so java is a very cloud based okay so so cloud technology that should be the right uh, answer for the for the question so java as a technology is uh, both a programming language and a tool so as a programmer you uh, you have got a lot of platforms i mean you can even develop a web application and a web of applications using java so this is all short a very short uh, introduction on what java is all about okay um now we just start off what what java is all about uh, on the development end uh, usually uh, you have got a java program and you got a compiler and you have got uh, something behind okay so we'll go in deep uh, when we start uh, working through something which is java based it's just a high level if anyone has any questions feel free to ask probably i i look for reply and otherwise anyone can uh, ask me any questions okay in between talking in this end so in order to learn java we have got something like java run time environment uh, which basically helps you in uh, you know during run time it helps you uh, in processing your in your program and it has got java vector system which is the main uh, uh, which which kind of a layer on on top of the solid based stack background uh, any other programming background you have got uh, much of it okay so it's the methods are nothing but your applications your learning of applications so java has got bunch of programming systems uh, you know programming interfaces on top of that you can you can write your own programming interfaces also so once you uh, good with your programming okay so java basics is full uh, place of base of ml learning so it's very important yes it's very important to get into java the basics of ml learning because uh, you know that java is a base and then on top of java you have got web applications you have got web development you have got web development and web apps and uh, so you can see a typical uh, uh, structure of your uh, a typical process is this you write your java program uh, like for example like uh, for the word document the extension is your doc 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 or doc doc okay so the same way the extension of your java is your doc java okay so what happens here is you basically compile uh, uh, your your word doc and your java program so this is basically your uh, maintained in a file folder so this is your platform independent system so platform independent system means what if you are running this program and you are compiling this program in your windows platform you can run your application in any other platform by using this particular platform Otherwise, I will call it Linux. Uh, if anyone is not talking, please put themselves in mute. Yeah, please uh, give the call in ID. If you are not in mute, you, you can put in. Okay. Okay. So uh, this is what we have the gradient. On top of the gradient, we use this thing we have seen like the path path JDK. We use Linux for this one. So this is your typical structure of your uh, some 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 information about the Java. Okay. Um, so this is what you need to know initially, like what what Java is and what Java can do. Okay. All right. Any any questions, guys? Uh, on a on a very basic uh, understanding of Java, is there any questions? I will go 
good point to clarify and is there anything which is really pushing your mind to ask these questions right now? Yeah, so I have a question about this uh, Java, you know, even though I don't have any background in IT, mm -hmm. it's the same with the C++ and C language or in branding itself. <laughs> How do you feel if everything is Java and C++? It's required any pre request or is it required because I don't have any background in IT. You know, I have a you know, biomedical background. So okay. I recently started, you know, the QA and the business analyst. So I think I'll be able to, you know, I have a little knowledge about the C and C. So is it I'll be able to jump in and learn more about the Java or will be difficult for me? I wouldn't say you need to learn. I mean, at least if you have knowledge of C and at least if you know what the programming language is. Okay. Even if you do not know any code, we at least we know it will help you learn more. Okay. Thank you. Uh, clearing your thoughts and you are clear to learn. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, all right. So, so when you talk about Java, whatnot, and uh, stuff, how do you define Java? <laughs> In the old days, uh, when you used to use Unix. <coughs> Like remote trial, you know about the remote trial, right? So you write your complete program in remote trial and uh, you use that. There's a lot of IDEs which have come to pictures uh, when you are introduced to it in your development environment, okay? So Eclipse is one of those. So what you want to get to is you can uh, develop your application using Eclipse. Uh, even though today you have, uh, you, you were not in Java or maybe some old background or technical background, you guys might, must have heard this buzzword Eclipse, right? So there are a lot of editors uh, in this in this market, like uh, we have got Eclipse, we have got Netbeans, we have got Simple J. So I mean, Eclipse is one of the famous IDEs. First of all, it is your uh, freeware. You are, uh, even though you can start working with uh, Net, uh, Netbeans also, that is uh, again a freeware that is given by uh, Google Intelligence. And uh, there are a lot of other IDEs which which you guys uh, which you you can use it. Okay. So we, in this uh, tutorial, we'll be mostly working on uh, the Eclipse itself, okay? So uh, to do so, Java development, uh, what is your options, okay? So as a case, if you're working on Eclipse, you can uh, use the Bash framework or Eclipse, and uh, uh, take anything, anything is an option, okay? Okay, now if I say in, in this class, uh, I, I talk about Padgets, I'll say Pad Padgets is an object. So every person is an object to learn. So whoever I, 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 I talk about in Java, I talk about in terms of budget, okay? Um, so Java data types, uh, there are several data types in order to give and understand the flow. So these are different four things which I'm trying to say here. So Java data type. Um, so what is a data type? Uh, something like uh, you're writing a string. So, okay, uh, let's say, um, Multiple partitions, like uh, so. I want to loop each and every part, each partition, right? So 
Uh, what did I do in the UK class? I, I went through everyone, right? I went from school of 2000, Kitsu to Bhakti. So how did I do that? I did it in my loop. I mean, it's a visual loop, but it's a huge loop.
still think that being so Yeah, you have to think you can still get booty calls just for being booty calls. Yeah. Um You know, one of the things you can do basically in Valve is some of the interesting thing are ways you can easily do this. Uh the really first thing is Go to Obsidian Writer to get your uh, code back, and you can get to you know code in there. You can write your uh, your code in code editor. Uh, I'm really not sure you can run multiple pro coding programs at the same time. Yeah. But in Java, you can use a multi-threading wherein um, you can do multiple things at at a time. Okay. Now, what do you mean multi multiple things at a time? Uh, it's something like you can. What about the multi uh, uh, multi threading? Yeah. Very interesting story. Yeah, 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 very good story. Because the way it comes with multiple threading is that there's a lot of operations that are done in Java. Okay. Uh, in Code Java, we just learn how the multiple threading works. But when it goes to your advanced Java, we are not going to use the multiple threading anywhere. But internally, the application or the implementation of your advanced Java is based on the multiple threading. So it's one of the important concepts what we should learn about the Lang thing. Now, hand to call can come in uh, with the multiple threading. Uh, what is that? Something like uh, you are trying to divide a number by zero, but you're actually wrong. You cannot divide anything by number by zero. So you can handle those things. And when you try doing something and you try to put those information in some encrypted manner in a safe way, that encryption handling is going to handle your issue and you are going to solve some of the issues, okay? So this is basically known as the reception handling, okay? And let's say, uh, if suppose sometimes you try to access uh, uh, any of the website and, and the website is down, right? What do you see? You, you go to some other page, then that page is saying that, okay, there is some problem with this page. So some way, if you solve the issue, your particular website could get hacked by the hacker. So somewhere you are doing your your part of the job. Okay. And uh, with the help of your Java API or with your iOS API, so that is your computer and mouse proxy, you can do something like you can read a file, you can write to a file, and uh, yeah, basically these are read and write, uh, write operations that you can do using your Java or your Android phone. Um, and uh, we have got something like collections in Java as well. Again, one of the most important concepts wherein uh, you deal with with the collection. Okay, so if let's say a collection is fruit and I I've got uh, ten fruits, I mean ten apples, right? So it's a collection of apples, right? Now when I say I've got uh, one apple, one banana, and one orange, so I've got a collection of fruits. Okay, so collection is one wherein uh, Questions, guys, till now. Okay. Now, in this course, uh, as as you can see here, we're not really about uh, gearing and uh, nodding your head. Okay, what what we're trying to say. Apart from that, uh, we'll be doing some problems for you so that we are doing some of the things that we can have a quick mind of. So we're gonna have a discussion in the Q and A channel in our daily meetings. Okay. Now, till here, I was mostly talking about. using Skype, right? You can get a use Skype. So what is Skype, right? It is kind of an application extension that you have, okay? Now what is what is the WhatsApp? It's kind of an application extension like a Skype, right? So same way you can develop those kind of applications using your Code Java also. Okay, there is a, there is something like Spring capability. You can even, um, I mean, write your beautiful code and you can send it to other people. Once you learn your code Java, next comes your advanced Java, wherein uh, it has 
you got no contract from him and uh, they can really do what they want. Okay, so we say it's uh, a JT application or it could be the Rentier as AI solution. We say Java Rentier as a business. Since that we basically learn about uh, the application and how it works. Then we start to build it. Now, uh, one great uh, thing is how do you guys like it? When you say you may love Java, you get a page, right? That page is nowhere, nowhere present in your own system, right? So when you say, something like uh, yahoo.com, right? So this page is nowhere present in your, uh, in your, in your system. This is coming somewhere from your some XYZ application, right? So this is what uh, you can see here with the help of an AI with the open server. going to serve your request or whatever the request you're sending it to the server, right? So somewhere you can see this application, your yahoo.com, this particular page was somewhere there in your Yahoo server. The, the moment you requested with your yahoo.com, you got a page saying with all this content, right? From all the, from where did you get all this content? It's nowhere from the server at the moment, right? So we will be learning how to build up those applications in detail. Okay, using a servlet. Uh, this has got some of the life cycle, some context. We can do some filters and some listeners. Okay, so of course there will be very early for you to, or for me to tell you on in detail right now. Okay, and then these are JT, uh, JT applications. Okay, so this is something that you can see, but uh, JT is one step ahead of this. So JT is. Uh, Basically, if you guys have this knowledge in HTML, you can directly write your HTML tags in this JT. You can no doubt do it in your servlet also, but it will be a bit more complex for you. So that for in order to get rid of that complexity, this JT has come to help us. Okay. So again, we'll learn in more detail once we get to that. Now, XML. Now, so what is an XML? So let me just take you guys through this. I see Krishna muted himself. Krishna, can you hear me? It's an extensible markup language. Right. So what's the use of that? Uh, to pass the variables between the application. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. So thanks, Krishna. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So uh, using an XML, it is nothing but it's kind of uh, a tag wherein you can uh, you know uh, give your HTML and output and then say run an XML on it. So XML you know customize the tag and drag it on it or pull it on it, right? So for example, um, let me show you. Uh, it is something like uh, I want I want to talk about you guys, so I just add something like Steven, okay? something like Steven and then I'm going to name it say Steven name okay so this is my uh, student name is XYZ right so again I'll be just closing the Steven tag here okay so this is kind of an XML shortcut because I had uh, created a tag wherein hey Steven can you give me your name right so in that I can have I can add some text in there so this is nothing but kind of an XML tag uh, wherein you have got a star tag, a star, star tag image, and then and a link tag image, right? So this is nothing but it's basically used for transferring your data from one system to uh, another system or one of them uh, serving as a web services. So mostly you will see in the XML or uh, some of the some of the AI classes you will see that your data is being transferred from one layer to another and used for that. So this is what you uh, typically learn in your JT, right? The stuff that you have got from Skype, from maybe your Zoom meeting procedures, wherein uh, it's kind of, uh, okay. So when, let's say 
Okay, man, I'm gonna upgrade from grade 2 to mechanic. Have to do everything, but a lot of homework. But you need to learn it in order to get a good, good feeling of uh, what an upgrade, a MVP framework is, you know. So this is again kind of a buzzword for you guys, maybe, and this can, uh, framework. So I can use a stud, I can use a string to build up this MVP thing, okay. But again, this thing subject is always the base for learning any other framework, okay. So even though if you learn studs or your strings, you need to have a good understanding of what you're talking to it. Okay. So uh, you'll be learning about uh, the stud architecture, uh, and you will be doing the stud compiler and upgrade stud and compile them and all that other stuff. Okay, you'll get into it maybe. But first, we will be learning more on on the string architecture. Okay. Uh, it's all the same thing. Okay, both are we are in the same place. Okay. And uh, yes, you can see you can go slow. This will help you understanding the concept thoroughly and whatnot. Any questions, guys? Hi, this is Krishna. Oh, hi, Krishna. Yes. Uh, which framework we are going to cover in this course? Uh, so we're going to cover. We're going to cover this course. Good early, okay, and it will be more interesting. I'll talk more about string core. I will talk about that also in the next slide. Uh, string core goes with the string MVP, okay, so it's one of the great points of MVP. Okay, right? Uh, yeah, even we have the course for string uh, studs MVP also, so you can even go through that also, okay. Now, uh, till here we have. Slides we came across Java, okay, and what not you can do it in for Java, right? And then we came across the GT application wherein we 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 will be learning about strings, VHPs, and XMLs, okay. Now, why why string came into picture? Okay, now string is uh, when we start learning about for Java. Kind of a uh, kind of a framework to maybe build upon very with the help of your for Java itself. So it helps if you are doing something in the string. Okay, it is something like you do not have to create an instance by yourself for this. There are a couple of configuration files. With the help of that, it tries to inject the instance. Okay, which is something like. Before even uh, when I say uh, these commands will talk here, what happens is uh, let's say Krishna, what he will do is he is going to inject either of one value to talk out to you. Okay, so it is something like at the moment I say talk, Krishna will be injecting it right there. Okay, so this is kind of an injection which is in the background. When you talk about string compiler, uh, we will talk about the string MVP here. Uh, so string has got a lot of a couple of names, right? So string has got like string core. Uh, when we talk about string core, it's the application of what you do using your your Java and your Java core for Java. The same thing you can use with string 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 core string core MVP. So like you got uh, uh, for Java, you got uh, string core. Okay, so you can see. What not you can do, and it's it's again one of those beautiful frameworks which I have also worked on, and uh, you'll even enjoy working with this. So again, the string has got lot of a uh, lot of layers. It's got string core, like it has got string base MVP. Yeah, I just want I just uh, wanted to cover one thing. In for Java, there is something like base MVP. Now, what is base MVP? It is a, a Java that again kind of feeds it. So with the help of that, what you can do is you can use it to hook your database. You can hook the database, you can query the database, you can fetch the database, you can do all kind of things out of it. You can feed it like anything. Okay, the same thing what you do in your Java code. So you have to use your maybe of the IDE server vector. Let's 
or you might know how you might be using your uh, pixel developer right or your probably if you're using an excel you can use your pro right or anything so you basically uh, find the value from there so you can actually use the value from there to find the value from there so how do you how do you actually take the query from there so just going back to string string has got string jdbc layers wherein the help of uh, string jdbc it is easy to find the query so what unit store query it is it's storing a string a jdbc okay a store jdbc a dao jdbc as well as your string jdbc right now at the base both are both definitely in the same string as well as they have the string jdbc takes the help of what java flow jdbc right but so in the text tracker you also have strings so if you come across a string jdbc now there are a couple of strings we have to take care in your pro java and in your pro jdbc you need to do those things in your string jdbc right so it's kind of an abstraction you don't have to do a lot of things in there now okay you you can give me some assignments these days so that uh, you 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 do your assignments and then you come up with your solutions and then we can work on it right and uh, yes after learning all these technologies uh, one thing we are missing here which is the own object right now you can query the database okay using your uh, your jdbc okay or your string jdbc but these days uh, a lot of uh, frameworks are coming out right in particular if you have got something like uh, netlog and all that is right those are all ORMs, right? So you can synthesize, you you see them in text, right? Now, if something, uh, if you see this XML, right? Here I have told student, I told student, student name, right? So I can even create a class out of this. I can say a student class, okay? And in the student class, I can have a variable known as XL to say, uh, this is the typical way of declaring a class actually in Java. I give the student, and in the student uh, class, I can even have something like uh, student key. I'm not giving the data, right? Right now, I'm not assigning the key, but I'm just giving data type as string because the string here, okay? Now, uh, when I query the database, or let's say when you use Pro or Excel developer to query the database, you see something in the form of a table, right? The same table structure, I want to map it to a class or map it to an object in the Java world, okay? So in that case, I will use some sort of, we'll see how we can do it in, in, in your pro Java as well, in your uh, JDBC application, and we'll see how to do it in your other application as well. And I think that, that is what the entire uh, approach is that we have to do. Now, what are the things which we all have on our mind when we are working on this, right? So we can see uh, how the OCS uh, mechanism can help to uh, some sort of computation which uh, really requires uh, the work which you have accomplished in your work, right? Uh, okay, so you can uh, read and say, you know, what are we going to do with this thing? This is kind of a free operation which you can do if you want to, right? So it's a free read, update, and delete operation you can do using this. And on top of that, it, has, it, it gives you a lot of good uh, uh, perspectives or options to deal with the uh, with with your queries and stuff, okay? And uh, yes, we have got other mechanics like this as well, like you know, uh, which we will be sharing in the next slide. And then uh, we'll get we'll be having some sort of assignments and stuff like that, uh, which again we will be coming up with our own solutions and stuff like that. That's how we do these things. And uh, yeah, in the course of all these sessions course of uh, your JDBC or maybe your Spring or however many in between we'll be talking about a lot of design patterns okay now what is a design pattern uh, design pattern is something like uh, uh, somebody has already solved your problem right now when it's something like uh, you go to a jungle for the first time you let's say there is already a path you are you are you always take that path right you do not discover your own path because you know that if you discover your own path, there will be a lot of obstacles in the way. So, obviously, there is a path which is coming for you, so you will take that path. So, it's a 
Okay? And he will publish this, and what Java is going to do is, Java is going to talk to this guy. Okay? This is your, this is a web server. Okay? And this, this way is automatically going to invoke this application method, and it's just going to give you a request by getting feedback. Okay? So Java is going to have to understand this thing. So this is what this thing is. So it's called Based on one of the uh, code base, it's sorry. Yeah, they've got this code and that's it. Okay, so code is uh, it's completely you have uh, XML base and uh, you have got your web uh, your web browser. So this you do not need an XML server there. So so you have got you 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 can have your JSON in there. All right. Uh, so understanding web pages, web pages architecture, so we have talked uh, code in detail and we'll be even talking about web browser and we will be testing the web service so we will see how to build the web service okay using the source ui and we'll see how to uh, generate the uh, custom web pages and we can invoke the real web service also we will see how to write uh, restful web services and we'll see how to test the web service as well okay any questions on web services guys uh, yeah i do have Something like a naming and directory setting, wherein uh, uh, it's something like you do listen, right? Now, what you do when you, uh, let's say, I if you when you try to search for a person in your directory, so do you do a list search? Yeah, I do a list search. Okay, so you do a list search for that. So it's a big deal in terms of the use of list search, uh, wherein you do a list search and you start getting something like this is the details of that particular uh, object. So this is going to bring react and do and do a SQL list search to a particular uh, request. Okay. This is also interesting detail. So it looks sexy. Now, what is the JMS? Okay, JMS is nothing but your Java Customer Service. So what is the Java Customer Service? Uh, it is something like you when I send you a message to your phone and your phone sees that. So that message is not lost. What I'm saying is that message is being stored somewhere in some place, okay? And the moment you click on your phone, what happens? You consume that message, okay? So herein we create we are a client, okay? And I am the guy who is actually going to send the message to a particular place, okay? So the moment you click on your mobile, it it should be something like you are you are on, okay? And you get the message from this place, okay? And even though if you switch off and you switch on, in the meantime, you try and find volume and you try and find the queue, okay? You you consume that message, right? So we'll see even how, what JMS is, okay? So what is the JMS architecture? We'll see what is the queue on your topic, okay? Uh, queue is something like uh, you talk to one one to one call, okay? Topic is something like uh, when you subscribe yourself any of the user's office or any of the office space, whenever a user architect publishes a web page, okay, it gets broadcasted to a specific person who has actually subscribed to that topic, okay? So that is something like topic. Q is something like one-to-one. -one. You are sending an email to XYZ person, okay, email only goes to that XYZ person. So that is uh, something like your Q, okay? So we'll see in depth uh, when we talk about the JMS also, so we have been using uh, Activeform Q. Now Activeform Q is, uh, we'll be using this as a communication uh, from your client, from uh, yeah, from your sender and receiver. Okay. So okay. So next is uh, in this in this course we'll be learning about Block Project. 
So a lot of people are saying that you want to lock something to some other file and then just get out of it. So you can reuse it and uh, uh, understand what is for the time your data. So let's say you're you you have some of your files which you you have some stores in your uh, in your store and you are trying to lock them some time frame. Okay, so you can uh, use the lock code here with the RAM sensor for logging. And we are going to use the JDB session, and this is one of the important part in the Java. Uh, uh, when something you have fixed, you have fixed your code, your your code is not complete. So how do you fix your code? You can do something in your uh, moment testing also. Okay, uh, or you can uh, use the JDB session. So uh, this works on any of your Java code. Uh, Java is not able to do C. What are working containers? Uh, C. Uh, when you write the code in your company, you are checking the code. That means you keep the code in the company code as well. Okay. So then in this course, you'll see how to check in and check out. Uh, we'll be creating a simple dependency wherein uh, you're going to check in all these all the programs which you will be doing it on a daily basis so that I don't have to submit a code to you. You're going to check out that program on a daily basis. Okay. Um, okay. Again. This is just not a theory class. Uh, when I'm understanding concepts, we will be doing we will be doing some actual coding in this class as well. Okay. Um. So what I usually recommend people to try is to work from the left to right. Um. Usually this yes. When I teach you each and every topic, uh, I will be telling you what are the important topics you have to. Uh, concentrate on if you guys are looking out for an MCQ or looking out for a series in Java, okay. I'll be telling okay, this topic is very important and this is the topic which you have to do. So you have to answer this question and stuff like that. So I, I use it uh, not in this course, but in other types of courses. Okay, and uh, you will be giving me then my personal suggestions and interviews and uh, on the class assignment. And uh, one more thing, you can attend the class multiple times. We are doing only one time. It's only for this week, right? And you'll be having your uh, daily and weekly assignments as well. Okay. Uh, so you'll be having some assignments and uh, the proper one and proper way to get the work done. Okay. Um, okay. Um, any more reasons you can write in comments as well in the chat box before we end. Okay. Uh, any questions, guys? Any questions? Any concerns? You can, you can. I mean, if you feel comfortable, you can even uh, put this in the forum. We can, uh, I can answer your question. Yeah, I see. There's a two of them right here. Right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not in the chat, but okay. in the chat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's a chat with this. There's a chat with this one. For whatever reason, this one hasn't come up. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can talk to Vikram that uh, she will give you. Uh, an idea on that and how to proceed for that. Okay. Yeah, let's call Vikram and see if he's got any questions for me. Yes, you can do that. Or if you need more help. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Or if you need help, you can uh, put down your number in the uh, in the comments there so that uh, please give me your comments and I'll try to help you. Okay. Thank you. Yes, exactly. So see that you can just post your number to Raj so that he can talk to you. Sure, Vikram. Any other questions and concerns, guys, that you have? I this is Krishna. The same thing uh, regarding about the schedule, that particular batch time you have mentioned is six of six p.m. PST time, right? Yeah, six or seven p.m. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Okay. Uh, which location are you joining from, sir? I'm uh, I log from the EST time, Rasagula. Is it possible we can move uh, uh, six thirty? Six uh, thirty. That is nine thirty, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, hello. Yes, uh, Jaya, I'm available for that. Uh, I'm the 
says like uh, we have to uh, I mean the option to we have to buy any jewelry like two layers for life. Okay, um, uh, you know what, uh, Krishna, we can uh, we can work it out. Uh, okay. Just call in the number I uh, mentioned, and uh, and we can have a comfortable ride if uh, that is necessary. We can manage it. Okay. 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 Thanks. No problem. So I believe the question shares. Uh, it's not uh, time for agenda in in this session. Uh, hi, Jayaram. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, uh, I'm going to provide any videos, uh, like you can listen after the class also. Yeah, like we'll, we'll provide videos for you also. Okay, so when will this batch going to start? Uh, this batch, uh, you'll see that if you get in touch with Krishna about it. Okay, sure. Yeah, so give us a call on the number mentioned below for any uh, inquiries about batch schedules and pricing and all that. And okay, uh, sure. Uh, we'll get in touch with you, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, we'll see that and we'll... Uh, Question shared, we can uh, have a discussion of it or we can yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Jayaram. Thank, thank you, Jayaram. Have a nice day. Thank you, Jayaram. Yeah, thank stay you. nice. Okay, thank you. Thank you a lot, sir. Bye. Bye. Thank you as well. Bye. So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website, h2kinfosys.com. On our website, h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you're interested in a demo program, Please register on our homepage on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.